game in 10 days, a close victory on December 9th against Coastal Carolina, 80 to 78. The opening tip is controlled by the Tigers in white. Tigers come away with it, and the rebound from Mitchell. Grantham wants a three ball. Cut off and well defended by Thomas. Grab it attacking the rim. It was blocked underneath. Grantham runs it up tonight. Grab it. it hit the game winning shot. It's tipped in. Now grab it hit the game winner in their last game against Coastal Carolina, but the tip in makes it a one point game. Player, make sure there's nobody who gets a hand on any of those offensive rebounds. They credited that last basket to Silva. Scara, that's a three. Scara, who's already got a three to his credit. Grantham, the floater on the baseline. So good ball movement. And you're looking at a veteran and experienced. Mitchell. From the floor in the first half. Turnover. Beatty. Euro. Laying. Although the crowd here does not yeah, agree. You know what? I think it was a good play. On right here. Turnover. Here comes our guy, Beatty. I'm thinking it's good. Double A tournaments, three Final Fours. James Breeding, 10 NCAA tournaments, one Final Four. And Roy Groover, seven NCAA tournaments. Pulls it in to the Gamecocks. Tom, we were talking to the South Carolina assistants and another good defensive play right there by Stara. One for the Tigers. Gamecocks with the basketball inside of 11 minutes to go in the first half. And it's Silva rattling that rim. Seven, Gamecocks with the basketball. The runner off the glass. And Corey Holden has the basket for the Gamecocks. Here in the first half, but only trailing by five. Shot clock is at eight, and that one will drop. 6-0 run for South Carolina. Corey Holden with the basket. Well, semifinal to Gonzaga, 77-73. Thomas with the jam. Cooks are strong to the basket. What a nice move. I didn't know he had that in his offensive repertoire. Cox are 2-0 away from Columbia, South Carolina. Driving and scoring, Myers. He, he's fortunate because he had Silva wide open on the block. And their offense has been created off of their defense. They're getting stops right now. It's a three-point attempt, and it's good. Marquise Reed with the ball. Sometimes his shot selection comes into question, but Brad Brownell lets him play without looking over his shoulder. How about that shot by Myers? Things drive you nuts. Yeah, how much different is this game from last year's? Just one tie as DeVoe drives and beats two and three defenders to the rack. With the Clippers, of course, P.J. Dozer, a two-way contract with Oklahoma City. How about the drive and the bucket, Corey Holden. We've seen both big guys drive the ball from the top, Silva and Thomas, neither able to finish with the win. Elijah Thomas on the defensive end. Brad Brownell, known as a defensive coach, I think last year they got away from that a little bit. Much better defensively, despite the layup right there. Everybody's satisfied. You know, we want to we want to get back and have a chance to play for it all again. And comes down to us in Alabama one more time. Nice little nice little pass right there. Yeah, not, really uh, excited. Our baseball facility is new. We got soccer coming on board. There's just a lot of great getting ready to add softball. It's a lot of great facility improvements going on here. At you got it, man. Well, thank you. Dabo Sweeney, the head coach of the Clemson Tigers, on his way. Money to the college football semifinal. Largest lead of the game. Trump, he, he has to let the ball go at like 12 o'clock, a little higher. Up ahead is Mitchell. For the Gamecocks in over three minutes. In traffic off the glass, Beatty. He was terrific in the shoot around, gave a lot of effort. Frank said he's been terrific this week in practice. DeVoe for three. One of three Tigers to get there. Silva trying to create some space, and he'll get a soft roll. That's some good looks. Also beat UMass in that game. 
Grab it. There you go. That's that's a, that's a great look. Baylor, Florida. And then the road finally ended against Gonzaga. Reed dribbling to freedom and hitting a three. With confidence, Marquise Reed. Point scorer. And showing why tonight leading the way for the Tigers. Coats are strong to the rim and twisting for the layoff. He's a really good defender, too. He's the one who guarded Jason Tatum in that Duke game last year. Grantham. Thomas let three defenders go on by. And he's bending that rim. They misses. Grantham the outlet to Duvall. Does not have the numbers. Goes anyway and scores. With a short clock. Down to five. Reed turns around and hits. Tough matchup for Kotsar on the switch. For the Gamecocks, he's got 12, but does have four personal fouls. Myers pass his defender to Vaughn when he hits the jumper. I love the shot fake. The shot fake's the best fake you could utilize in the game. A difference maker for one of those teams we just saw there. Both the Tigers and the Gamecocks. On the list for the young man, it's a three, and it's Marquise Reed. It's a new career high with that three. Part of the Clemson football team that's on its way to the college football semifinal on New Year's Day. Off the glass, the tip in is good. Just wants a three. You, you know what? He never had the ball in his hands clean, so why shoot it? I'll say he gets a nice bounce with 11 seconds to go.